So we're back again with now another NBA 2K18 My Team gameplay and I'm very hyped right now because I just came off finishing a stream and in that stream I opened packs for a new pink diamond and that pink diamond is none other than the pink diamond Kobe Bryant. We were able to pull him too. So I'll actually leave a link down in the description and as soon as you click on it, it'll bring you straight to my reaction of me pulling this card. So just click that if you want to see it. But yeah, first of all, I absolutely love the card art. You can see he's 6 foot 6, 99 on offense, 99 on defense, 99 standing, 99 driving layout, 98 post fade, 80 post hook, 92 post control, 99 draw foul. There's a consistent theme about this card and it's just 99. Pretty much everything is there. 99 shot close, 99 across the board for mid range, 98 for the three. Then also 98 free throw, 97 ball control, really good passing, also pretty good rebounding for a shooting guard. And yeah, this card's defense is just insane as well. Like 99 lateral quickness, 98 pass perception, 98 steal, just 98 and 99 is everywhere. But Kobe always has crazy dunk animations and the attributes don't let it down because he has a 98 driving dunk, 98 contact, then also 98 speed, 95 speed with ball, 98 excel, 98 vertical, 98 stamina. You guys can see the theme and it's pretty consistent. Also then 100 driving dunk and flashy dunk tendencies, 99 across the board for system proficiencies. But the crazy part is to go with those attributes, he has 16 Hall of Fame badges, including some extremely good ones, one man fast break, pick pocket, pick dodger, defensive stopper, pick and roll maestro, relentless finisher, acrobat, post riser, corner specialist, mid range dead eye, deep range dead eye, limitless range, difficult shots, tireless scorer, catch and shoot, and lob city finisher. As I'm scrolling through these ones here, look at all the finishing and shoot shooting badges he has combined. Like that's just gonna make him so good. Then 11 gold badges too. I added diamond, but he has some pretty good ones there including ankle breaker, break starter, lob city passer. So yeah, this pink diamond Kobe, I am so happy I was able to pull him because I wouldn't have been able to get this gameplay as fast as I am. And so you can see the team as well. I do have Tim Duncan and I am releasing a gameplay later today with him, but this team is just crazy. But you know who the gameplay is based around, pink diamond Kobe. So let's see if we're able to get two wins in this gameplay. So without further ado, let's hopefully get into the first. And we found our first opponent. His team is actually very good. He does have pink diamond D way, but this is all about Kobe. So hopefully we can start off well by winning this tip with Carl Anthony Towns. And then I'm just planning to kick it straight to my man, Kobe Bryant, who's actually to the right. Okay, it's straight away a turnover. But it's arrived right, because on the defensive end so far, it's been looking extremely well. And I know this play instantly that he's going to run. And that's such good defense. I don't know how that wasn't a foul. It usually is. We're going to pump fake the first three. Probably should have just taken it straight away. But Kobe Bryant, his first second touch of the ball, actually. Going all the way. Going up there. Tough finish he'll make. This might be a little bit annoying because last possession he did actually call a double team and you can see he's sort of bringing one across there and we have Clay Thompson on us so it's definitely a tough matchup but kicking it back up to Giannis here back to him going baseline straight away he saw that coming and we're just going to try and go up here though tough finish but it's Kobe Bryant and yeah this opponent is actually very good on the defensive end like he knows what I'm doing with Kobe Bryant and that for that reason I'm actually going to make this the normal game I'm just going to play normally with the squad give Kobe the scores that come to him and the next game I'll make sure to get as many points with him he's on the fast break here for a two-pointer there it's a good shot for him and he makes. Oh, what is wide open again. He's definitely not missing that one. He makes. And I really don't know how this game is going to go. But right now, I do have my bench on because it is now the normal game. We're kicking into Chris Tapps and getting off to a good start with them. And my starters now are back on the floor, which means Kobe's on. And I probably should have taken that shot. But I just want to go all the way. Go up there. Weird animation, but... What, he missed? I mean, I'm a little bit confused as to how that happened, but against Clay Thompson here, we get a pump fake the first one, kick it out to Cat for the three, that's green. And sorry if I'm not playing the best in this gameplay or if my commentary is a little bit off, it's just that, what, it's almost 6 a.m. right now and I haven't slept at all. I've been live streaming and I've been trying to get this gameplay, so we're going up here with Kobe. I'm just gonna go straight up, get the easy two. Oh, what a steal. We end up getting it as well. And let's pull the three. Why not? In transition, Kobe Bryant gets the steal, gets the finish. We actually get another steal too. And I want to kick it back to him and then go with the right hand and just try and go all the way. Let's just try and posterize him. All go up there, get the free throws, make it an N1. I thought this game was going to be tight. Yet we're up, what, 16 points. And yeah, to be honest, ever since I said that, my team has played so badly. I have to bring my bench on now because that's how badly they were playing. It's only a three-point game. Anthony Davis makes it six. As we get the steal there, you guys can see Kobe is back on the floor and we are up by 19 points. So I'm pretty confident we're going to win this game. I want to add a few more points with Kobe though. Let's try and get a pump fake here. Back to him. He doesn't expect me to go baseline. Maybe he does, but Kobe's going to finish anyway. <laughs> Oh, what a snatch back there. It's a deep three. He has limitless low and he hits. And I gotta lie, I really didn't expect this in the normal game. I wanna take a real deep three from the logo though. Will he make that one? Unfortunately, he missed. And my camera turned off, but we ended up getting the win. And yeah, just have a look at Kobe's stats. In 11 minutes with 25 points, two assists, two steals, only one turnover. Shot 10 of 16. When I took some bad shots at the start, four of five from three, 100% from free throw, was responsible for 30 of our points. 
pretty good game. And that was the game where I just go for the win. And more importantly, we won. I got 257 points. Okay, I'll take that. But now it's time for personally my favorite part where I just try and score as many points as I can with the pink diamond Kobe. So he's going to play the whole game. And I'm hoping we can drop over 70 with him and get the win. So let's see how this goes. So you guys know what time it is. Actually, I thought I should mention I did get a haircut too. Look at that. It's looking pretty clean. But anyway, it's time for us to get into the second game. So we found our next opponent and his team really isn't the best, but Kobe's about to go off. All right, so let's see if we can get to a good start in this game as we are in the away jerseys again and we do not at all but let's just play tight against LeBron get across there I'm liking the defense so far I'm feeling confident it's very early days but I don't know just the way with the passed out there and took a pretty deep three he made it, but still, I really am not playing well. But the thing is, when you have a card like this, he can just carry you no matter how badly you're playing. So let's just go with the left hand here. Try and go all the way. It's a bad take, but he got free throws. And I'm not even going to show free throws anymore because you already know he's making both. It's 6.30 in the morning right now, so I am very tired. So I just need to focus or else this gameplay isn't really going to be the best. I'll probably have a very bad shooting percentage. But I am pretty confident that in this game, I will have quite a lot of points with him. As right now, we only have four, which really isn't that good. But let's make that six because Kobe's going inside post rising Carl alone. Yeah, James Harden, there's no way you're defending the pink diamond Kobe. Oh, we're getting inbound still as well. Let's just pull the midi straight after. How did he miss that? I have no idea, but we're going to kick it to him again. Take a terrible shot and he'll probably make that one. Goal turning. Okay. Offensive interference. I'm pretty sure you guys knew I meant to say that, but let's take a deep three here. He is hot. He does have Hall of Fame limitless and he hits. Okay, get me this steal, Kobe. And do we want to throw up a self alley -oop? Let's see if this works. He goes up. It, it sort of worked. <laughs> and there's no way in the world we should be down by three points, but we are. And make that only down by one. I reckon I'm going to win this game by at least 20 and we're down right now. So let's make that only a one point game. Thank you, Kobe. And we actually have 1.2 seconds here, which is more than enough time for Kobe Bryant to catch it, shoot it, and put it up, and make it on the buzzer. Okay, well, that was pretty nice. I really do not know what's going on right now. Like, Kobe's playing well, but the rest of my team is just terrible. Let's try and go in here. He has to post right step. There we go. Maybe it's because I started LeBron at point guard. It's the first time I've done it in a while, and we take that three. That's a green light. Yeah, I don't know. Kobe's definitely got a good shooting percentage as well, and another three. That was a moving in here. So, Kobe's now at point guard, and just coming off the screen, it's a catch and shoot. After the inbound, he hits another one, and trust me, when I say this, this is where the run's about to start. We're up three, but I can guarantee you by the end of this quarter, we're going to be up by, I don't know, let's, let's say at least... 10. I'm seriously just wondering where I prefer him right now. If I prefer playing him at point guard or shooting guard. And to be honest, I've got no idea. But let's try and run down here. Kick it back out to him. Not take that shot. It wasn't really a good pass. But we're going to get an assist anyway. I said I was going to be up by 10. Yep, I'm down by 2. I've got no idea how this is happening. And we're going up there. Making it a tie ball game. Kobe versus Rex. Going inside. That's easy. It seriously is just defense where I'm giving up the easy scores. On offense, I'm scoring pretty much every single possession. So going up here. And he's continuing that streak. I've only got seven seconds left on the clock. So can Kobe get me another buzzer beater this time? Maybe not in buzzer, just two free throws. And it's now the start of the third. Kobe does have quite a bit of energy back, which is definitely a positive sign, but I'm going to call all the timeouts soon, which will make it even better. Going with the left hand here. He's going to post a Yao. All right, here you go, baby. Use your speed. Just go all the way. Take the three in transition and miss that one, but kick it back to him. Pump fake the first. Go with the right hand. A fading three. That one's going to drop. I seriously don't even know what to say about this game. I've tried to get a assist with Kobe, but it's just impossible because none of my players are hitting shots. And every single shot I've taken with them has been wide open as we're going to kick it back to him here. Go with the left hand. Fading midi. Such a good shot for him. He'll make that every day. And finally, we got another stop. So we've got a chance to go up in this game once again. And that's not really the greatest shot, but for Kobe, it was actually all right. Let's pump fake the second one. Probably could have got free throws there, but we get a dunk anyway. Kobe has 53 points. I only just noticed that. I thought this game really wasn't going too well, but as for Kobe, it's going extremely well. Let's actually get a pick and roll here because we do have Karl Malone on us. And if we're able to switch and get Yao Ming, that's pretty much the best mismatch possible as we're just going to kick it to Chris Tapps, Go up there. Easy assist, making an end one. I'm shooting eight of 20 from three and every single one of those threes, except for the ones with Kobe, are open. So it's been going pretty badly for me. And because of that, I'm down seven. I do not understand, but let's kick it back to T-Mac. We finally make one. Let's go. Kobe, you've got Steph on you with nine seconds to go. 
I'm pretty confident you're going to be able to score with him. And he's confident as well because he gets it to go. Like, I started this game out saying I should win by 20 points. And I actually still believe in that. Maybe not as much as before, though. But we'll see how we go. As we're on the drive this time, going up more free throws. And with this free throw, it's his 60th point, And it's now tied. We get another stop. I'm pulling the three in transition. Kobe Bryant, that's a big shot. And he hits. Yes, this fourth quarter seems to be going my way. He knew I was going to try and stop and take the three. But we're going to pass it up. Take it by KD. And he's going to hit. So we're up by six. I'm actually a little bit surprised because he has matched up Carl Malone on Kobe, which probably wasn't what I expected. But let's just try and beat him with the speed. And that's too easy. I'm saying it now. If I score here, I'm 100% one. So let's do his signature drill move. Then call a little pick and fade with Chris Dabbs. And what? I, I'm so confused why he ran away. But we take the three and it's over. As I'm kicking it to him here, he's going to foul. That's a clear path foul. So we're going to get two po more points. And as the second free throw is about to hit, that's point number 70. And he fouled once again. So that's point number 72. And with the clock running down, we did end up winning this game by eight points. Should have been a lot more in my opinion. But I mean, at least with my whole team playing terribly, there was one player that played very well. And it was the Pink Diamond Kobe Bryant. 74 points in 20 minutes with one rebound, seven assists, four steals, four turnovers. Shot over 50% and almost over 50% from 3-2, which is pretty good with the threes I was taking. 100% from the free throw line and eight plus minus was responsible for 91 of our points. And most importantly, we ended up getting the win when my team was playing terrible. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy that this Kobe was just able to put the squad on his back and carry my whole team to that victory because, to be honest, without him, we probably would have lost. But, yo, 72 points. It's been a while since I've dropped that much with a player, but what better player to do it with then the pink diamond Kobe. And now the question is, do I recommend this card for about 200K? And my honest answer is yes. There is the diamond 98 overall version, which is quite a bit cheaper. But to be honest, when I compared them both, the pink diamond is actually quite a bit better because his three is a 98 compared to a 95. And that's a huge increase. And also it's pink diamond Kobe. So who doesn't want this card? But yeah, definitely the 98 is a good budget option if you can't afford him, but the 99 is so good. And I do recommend him if you can afford. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if the commentary wasn't the best. I'm just so tired right now so i haven't been asleep it's like 7 a.m right now but i had to get this video out for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed be sure to follow me on instagram and twitter and also if you like the video smash that like button subscribe for new and i'll catch you in the next one bye